about that truck life. We back. So, some of you that follow my story, we went to Philadelphia. We flew to Philadelphia yesterday to pick up this truck right here. And this one, maybe two weeks ago, we got this from the dealer. This is a 2020 5500, uh, 19,500 ground vehicle weight. Same over here. This is a 14. We um, we pretty much bought this one from Mannheim through a friend. And um, we're going to go ahead and, you know, get this one all prettied up over the next two weeks. So take a walk with me. I'm going to show you a few things. Pretty much the truck runs good. I ran it about 75, 80, 70, all the way down, cruise control, et cetera, et cetera. You know, we're going to get some of that. This is not scratches. This is actually glue. We're going to get that stuff taken off, get it all prettied up, and um, probably wrap the bumper in white, black out the wheels, and put the covers on them. Um, obviously, we're going to do the hot shot setup with the fenders, the chrome. Bed. It's gonna be like this, except it's gonna be new. Might keep that fifth wheel and just repaint it, grease it up, make sure everything's working properly. Um, that's pretty much it. We put the logos on there. Uh, same thing over here on this side. This truck right here, we're gonna do the hot shot kit on here. It's gonna color match the fenders, same type of stuff. So. These are the two new additions. Um, we named this one right here. We named this one Cash. We're going to name this one Money. Okay? So, you know, y'all been watching me start. I started in October. I did my first post in October. And I started with the other 3,500 over there. And, and I'm showing you that how, how you scale your business. We got two trailers ordered. And I get, I get a lot of questions in my DM and I, and I chat back and forth with some of you guys. And I just, I just want to tell you, like, you, if you want something bad enough, just go for it. And don't worry. Sometimes you let yourself get in the way of your progress. And what I mean by that, I'll try just about anything. As long as I know my health is not involved and I'm, I'm going to walk away living. That's that's my rule. Other than that, I'm not scared to do or try anything. So with that being said, you got to really get the education you need. I'm here for that to help get your credit fixed because it's very important. This truck was bought with that. You know, we got this one cash. Um, but credit is very, you know, it's very, 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 very important to running your business. And without it, you're going to struggle. And it's going to be, it's going to be hard. I do credit repair. So just let me know what your issues are. We can get that straightened out. I got, you know, coaching starting next Sunday at five o'clock. We're going to be doing what you call uh, truck talk Sundays. I'm going to do it live. I'm going to do my first live. And um, I want you guys to shoot me any kind of questions, anything you want answered, you know, during this week. And just put in the DM, just put Truck Talk Sunday Q&A and then ask your question. And I'm going to, you know, write all that stuff down, get as many questions as possible answered. And um, we're going to do that every Sunday. So even if we just get on there and we just kick it, you know, you never know what you might learn or you might have, you know, obviously a question. And that's what that's what that's going to be about. And um, you know, just back to getting that motivation and getting yourself going. You gotta you gotta really dig deep and not and be fearless. So, you know, um, just don't let anything set, you know set in your way. I made a lot of mistakes. I, this is my fourth trucking company, and you know, with experience. You know, so you get some some people that that haven't made any, you know the the road was smooth so you you really want somebody 
that's been through the ups and downs. Because how do you deal with adversity when you never ran into any of that? I've ran into so many different problems while trying to, you know, raise a family and and take care of responsibilities. And, you know, it was hard. It was hard for me to, to get out here and, and balance family time with, with work time. I just flew six six o'clock in the morning yesterday to Philadelphia, got this, went and visited my mom for about an hour and then drove straight back down. I'm shooting this video, going to the gym, and then I'm going to work today. It's Sunday. So, you know, you gotta have that kind of drive and you gotta chase it. Cause if you don't chase it, you ain't gonna catch it. So, you know, I just wanted to put this little video out here for you, introduce the two, two new ones. And um, you're gonna be seeing a lot more when we get the trailers and get everything set up. I'm gonna walk you through everything, and, you know, just get you ed educated, you know, just so you can see. And um, sometimes a visual always helps with um, learning and going into something new. So that's why I take you on my stories, you know, in the rail yards and, you know, just, you know, in car hauling period. But, you know, when we do our q and I've done regular try, I've done drive in i've done reefer i've done the walking floor dumps you know tow trucks car hauling i've done a little bit of everything so you know you got any questions about different fields box trucks you know amazon anything that you want to ask go ahead and ask it you know i'm 16 years plus million miles you know i've been out here i've been in the mountains i've been through coachella eagles pass you name it i've been there so you know you need maintenance advice on your trucks or how to pick out a truck just holler at me you know i know a lot i don't know everything but i know a lot and if i don't know it i got a circle of guys that's my ogs that i can reach out to and i can talk to them and get that answer for you so just just know that if you you want to get into this you ain't you're not alone and you know you get you really got an advantage because i didn't we didn't have ig I think MySpace was out when, when I started trucking. And I was and I didn't even really know what that was. So that's how long ago it was. But now you got so much you got so many people on the internet giving out advice, myself, and you know, take some of that advice Sunday at five o'clock, every Sunday, truck talk, QA with your boy Asmar about that truck life.